Um, Black PD has done a tremendous amount of good for the Richland County Sheriff's Department as well as myself personally. Um, I've been on the show, I believe, for close to two years. Um, signing up to be in law enforcement, I mean, this job, this show, for one, has brought a, a lot of notoriety to me. Uh, but at the same time, I'm a private person. Of course, I'm in law enforcement, and no matter how many people like cops, um, it is our job essentially to go after the bad guys who go after the good people. So there's always that population that doesn't like us, and um, it's it'll be nice to get back to a private life. Uh, no matter where I went, whether I'm in uniform or out of uniform, somebody would recognize me. Um, I couldn't do like, I can't do the daily activities that most people do without getting recognized. And it's just, I'm a quiet person for the most part. I'm a private person and I'm a, I'm a loner, um, whether people believe it or not. I'm always by myself. I like to be to myself. And it was just kind of interfering a little bit, you know? I'll be taking a different role um, within CID and the Sheriff's Department. CID is for Criminal Investigations Division. It'll be a role where I won't be as public or in the public's eye. I'll kind of be on the back burner. I'm still doing my job, um, but I won't be in uniform and it'll be a different capacity. My favorite moment, hands down, um, was a traffic stop that myself and fellow investigator Mastriani did. Um, on Two Notch Road where we had two guys that were out for one of his buddy's birthdays and they were a little intoxicated and um, I, I couldn't stop laughing. I, I had to hold myself back. I couldn't stop laughing. It was like the funniest stop ever. As Mastriani was approaching the passenger side, usually when people that have been drinking and driving and they see law enforcement, they throw the alcohol away from the car. Um, this guy was so intoxicated, he just threw it at Mastriani. And when I asked him about it, um, he admitted to doing it, and he said he didn't see him there. So that kind of set the tone for that stop. It was funny for one thing because everybody automatically expected us to get these guys out of the truck, put them in handcuffs, um, kind of be rough with them. And their attitude and their demeanor dictated that traffic stop. And it just goes to show, you know, if you're nice to us, respectable to us, we're only going to mirror and reciprocate what you do to us. And those guys were so funny. Even though they had broken the law, it was nothing that we could do with laugh. And they hadn't hurt anybody. And we got them. Um, and you always want to think, worst case scenario, we got them before they could possibly hurt somebody or hurt themselves. And it's just something that I always remember. Um, I learned that I'm more patient than I actually thought I was. Um, I've also learned that uh, no matter what you do, whether it's on live PD or not on live PD, everybody has this innovative piece of technology now called a cell phone. So people are always watching no matter what you do, um, no matter who you are, you don't have to be in law enforcement. There's always somebody um, willing to put you on the internet and make a name for themselves. So just gotta be extra careful, um, especially the fact that I'm a public servant and I'm wearing this uniform. What to do all over again, what would you do differently? I don't know if I could, and I don't think that I would do anything differently. Um, I didn't watch the show as much as I should when I wasn't on it. Um, and also, when I was on it, if it was something that people talked about a lot, I would go back and I would look at it, and I would kind of critique myself um, on things that I could do better, things that you know maybe I didn't see at the time to maybe look for the next time. Because unfortunately, this is one of those jobs where the simplest and minute thing could ultimately cost you your life. So you have to pay attention to detail. Um, I remember one stop in particular that I did, a gentleman was wanted for um, attempted murder. And we ended up stopping him for something as simple as a altered paper tag, because he took the three and changed the three, or tried to change the three to a six, and it caught our eye. And we're thinking we're stopping this guy for a minor traffic violation. And lo and behold, he's wanted for shooting somebody a couple of times and robbing them. So the simple things always lead to big things. Um, what do you want to say to all these fans that are going to be heartbroken by hearing this? Um, thank them for their support. Um, I really appreciate it. It's been a wonderful ride. Um, who knows? Um, it may not be the end. But for right now, it's the end. And um, just look forward to the future because you never know what will happen.